Here is Cantabile. She is an agent. A phenomenal agent, you could say. You'll need to cut those wires, agent. Okay. Oh, hey, did it. The Vanguard class has been pretty stagnant for the past two and a half years due to Bagpipe and the Flag Bearers curbing DP generation into Oblivion, but this funny little bird operator is finally changing up the Vanguard playstyle. You'll hopefully be getting a lot of copies of her from the Gavi Altar banner if Raid Up isn't a lie, so you might be wondering if she's worth raising or not. Well, let's find out. Yeah, I'm fine now. Cantabile here helped me get out of the hospital. Oh, it's Contabila. Right, I'll take note of that. As I've said earlier, Contabila is part of the new branch of vanguards called Agents. At max potential, these operators have redeployment timers of only 31 seconds, which can be insanely useful, but they trade their defensive stats for it. Being semi-fast redeploys means this branch can address enemies in other parts of the map instead of staying static in one place the entire time. Agents are paper thin, having lower health and defense than the other vanguards, so to compensate this, their range consists of two tiles ahead of them instead of just one like the other melee vanguard branches. They can also do ranged attacks, meaning they can hit drones. In order to generate DP, the branch has to hit enemies during their skill durations. Their DP generation can be quite high, since agents have a fast attack interval, the same as marksman snipers, and just like marksman snipers, their damage gets crippled by medium defense enemies, even with skill up. This isn't necessarily a bad thing for general usage though, since the more damage Cantabula does, the less hits she does on the enemy, which means less DP. The balancing act is one of the more annoying things about agents. You're gonna be using her to open maps which have low health enemies to start, and Cantabula can kill them within a small amount of hits, not using her cost generation mechanic to its fullest. It's really not that big of a deal though, since in general, maps aren't tight on DP. Cantabula's first talent increases her attack speed when not blocking enemies, and increases her attack if she is blocking enemies. It's an either or type deal and depending on the situation you can get higher total damage or DPS by blocking or not blocking. Most of you will prefer the increased attack speed when unblocked for your opener though because DP generation is the biggest thing on your mind rather than a vanguard doing more total damage. Since Cantabula gets more attack speed when not blocking, she'll attack faster during her skills and you get more DP. Hey what's up can table? Wanna join us for lunch? We got pizza. No pineapple, sadly. Oh, it's Contabila. Right, I'll take note of that. Contabula's first skill, Penetrating Gaze, is a passive skill that increases her attack for 20 seconds after she's deployed. Every attack Contabula does during the skill duration is 1 DP right there, and since her attack interval becomes slightly under 1 second when she's not blocking any enemies, she can actually get 23 hits in if she's constantly attacking generating 23 DP from the entire duration. The increase in attack might seem pretty big since it essentially doubles her attack stat, however it only gives her enough damage to scale past medium defense comfortably. The skill is great if you're using Cantabula as more than just an opener, focusing on the damage aspect of her kit. Don't get your hopes too much though because as I've said earlier, she gets screwed over by above average defense pretty easily. As soon as she's done with the skill, there's no point in leaving her on the field, so just retreat her. Cantabula's second skill, Specular Reflection, gives her 18 ammo and increases her attack and attack speed. She also gets some fancy camouflage during the skill duration. You can manually deactivate the skill since it's ammo based, but there's practically no situation where you do that unless you're trying to do some specific cycling. The attack increase isn't as much as her first skill, but that's fine since the attack speed makes up for it. Even though she gets curbed by defense harder with the skill, it's not necessarily a bad thing since doing less damage with the faster attack speed means she'll have a similar amount of DPS compared to her S1, except now Cantabula has a higher DP generation since she attacks faster. The skill isn't a passive like her first, so you can deploy her and keep her on the field to cycle it up again just in case. It has enough initial SP to be immediately up with only pot 1 bagpipe in the squad so you can instantly activate it on deployment, acting like her first skill. The camouflage makes it so that Cantabula can not get hit from ranged attacks, making this skill great against ranged enemies like casters. 
Cantabula can be pretty much used the same with either skill, so what's the difference? Use skill 1 over skill 2 if you specifically want her to scale past defense and do more total damage. The extra damage sounds nice, but it doesn't make for a good opener since she kills enemies in less hits. You also have to leave her on the field for longer to get more damage in. The first skill lasts for 20 seconds, which you might not guarantee the max DP and damage, while the Cantabula's second skill can be over in less than 12 seconds if she's constantly attacking an enemy. After she's done with her second skill, you can either choose to cycle it again or retreat and reposition her. Also, since her S2 is ammo-based, Cantabula is essentially guaranteed that DP and damage because ammo doesn't go away if she doesn't have enemies to hit, unlike her S1, which is a passive. The camouflage can also prevent Cantabula from getting turned into cream cheese when you put her against ranged enemies. Despite me shilling S2, her first skill does have its use cases if you know you want that total damage. I didn't talk much about her DP generation power, and the reason for this is because frankly I don't believe in inflating analysis videos with numbers that have little usage context. In a perfect situation where Contabula always has something to hit, yeah her DP power is amazing, but this type of situation doesn't really happen too often unless it's like CC with attack down. This doesn't mean she has bad cost generation, generally speaking it's really good, however Maps can range from continually destroying the starter enemies and making no DP, to elite enemies spawning frame 1 and making her the ultimate DP farm. So there really isn't a concrete answer on how reliable her cost generation is. If you want an in-depth video talking about Cantabula's DP efficiency, you should watch Ankul's analysis where he mainly talks about contingency contract and the effectiveness of her redeployments. Cantabula's skills are both viable for mastery, but if you're going to use her as mainly an opener, which is going to be lots of you, then put masteries on S2. If you plan on killing bigger things with her, go for S1. The agent archetype in general is game changing when it comes to vanguards. Specifically for vanguard knights, dealing with the drones is a pain, so having a vanguard that can do ranged attacks with a decent attack stat makes drone cleanup way easier. Tacticians can hit drones, yeah, but they have a low attack stat combined with the fact that none of their skills increase their own attack. Instead of trying to kill drones like this... Vanguard Knights players can now kill drones like this. The most valuable asset of this branch is its nearly halved redeploy time. Agents can be redeployed and repositioned virtually anywhere where there's open melee tiles, which is extremely impactful in a class such as Vanguard that has quite a limited range. Since her first skill offers more total damage at the cost of DP generation, it makes sense for this specific skill to be the go-to one for Vanguard Knights clears. If it's not obvious enough, Vanguard Knights doesn't struggle with DP generation, so you might as well take the skill with more total damage, especially with Zima's buff that gives all Vanguard 60% more attack and defense, Contabula with a little little bit of help can clean the R88 drones with ease, and her redeploy timing matches somewhat well with Zima cycling. In this CC11 max risk clear, her S2 generates enough DP to switch Elysium and Psylocke to their utility skills instead of the generic S1. And because Contabula does basically nothing off skill, she can be retreated, which frees up a deploy slot. She can even be last deployed for more DP, since the camouflage makes her untargetable to ranged attacks, safely getting her attacks in. Anyways, that's about it. Goodbye. Sorry to interrupt your day, can of tuna. Could you run these papers down to Kaltsut's office? Hey, 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 what are you doing? I didn't bring my EpiPen with me. <laughs>